Spotted Leaf's Heart, Chapter 8. Spotted Pot opened her eyes and saw greasy gray trunks looming around her, lit by a pale, unnatural glow. It worked. I drew myself into the place of no stars. With her heart pounding, Spotted Pot trod along the narrow path between the dying bracken. This forest looked the same everywhere, so she couldn't tell if she had returned to the place she had been before. She peered into the undergrowth. She had to find Thistleclaw and tell him that she had made the decision to be a warrior, not a medicine cat. And she wanted to give him one more chance to prove to her that he was learning valuable battle skills here, nothing more. Something black and slippery swooped overhead and Spotted Paw ducked. She craned her neck to see where the flying thing went, but it vanished into the shadowy branches. She patted on, her pelt crawling as rotten ferns clutched at her fur. Suddenly, she heard crashing and a muffled screech, followed by a sickening thud. She crept through the trees to the edge of a steep-sided hollow. Below her, Maple Shade watched a group of cats grappling with each other. Blood spattered the sandy ground, and Maple Shade's eyes gleamed like pale stars. Spotted Paw winced as she recognized Thistleclaw's lean gray shape wrestling with a fox-colored sheep cat whose ears were shredded to tattered stumps. White hairs on her muzzle suggested that she was older than the others, and her paws seemed to lose their grip too frequently on the slippery ground. Spotted Paw waited for Thistleclaw to flip the sheep cat onto her back and claim his victory, but he seemed to be playing with her as if she were a wounded bird, letting her scramble back to her paws after every blow. In horror, Spotted Paw realized that the she-cat wasn't fox-red at all, but a light brown tabby stained scarlet with blood. There is a deep wound on her flank and teeth marks along her spine. Spotted Paw sank her claws into the earth. Had this claw made those wounds? For a moment, the she-cat flickered against the ground, and Spotted Paw glimpsed sand and pools of blood through her fur. She blinked. The claw had one foot on the she-cat's neck now. Pressing her down to the sand, the old cat's hind paws scrabbled to find a grip, but she was too weak. She started to sink to her belly. Spotted Paw threw herself down the side of the hollow. Stop, Thistleclaw, you're killing her! Thistleclaw looked up at her, blood dripping from his muzzle. Get away from here, he snarled. Around him, the other cats stopped fighting and bristled, blood stained and claw scratched fur rising along their spines. Spotted Paw ignored them and threw herself at Thistleclaw, knocking him backward. She sprang to the side of the old cat and desperately pressed her paws against the wound on her flank, where blood was pulsing out relentlessly. Though it was getting hard to see the sheep cat, her fur was fading against the blood-stained sand, and her body felt like mist beneath Spotted Paw's pads. Then she was pressing against nothing but the cold, wet ground, and the old cat had vanished. Spotted Paw stared at Thistleclaw in horror. Where has she gone? What happened? There was a heavy thud of paw steps across the hollow and maple shade loomed above her, clouded in the stench of blood and crow food. This whiny little apprentice again, Thistleclaw? She hissed. Get rid of her before I do. She turned and stalked toward the other cats, gathering them to her with a flick of her heavy white tail. Spotted Paw was too furious to feel afraid. She stood up and faced her clamate, ignoring the sickness stick stickiness beneath her paws. I came to tell you that Thrushfell asked me if I wanted to train as a medicine cat and I said no, she meowed. How could I, if that meant losing you? But this place, this has done something terrible to you. You are not just trained to be a loyal Thunderclan warrior, you're murdering helpless cats. That cat wasn't helpless, Thistlecloth spat. She thought as hard as I did. No, she didn't, Spotted Paw mewed. She died. She looked around. At least she bled so much that she vanished. I cannot be with you if this is where you are going to spend every night. If this is what you do here. If you truly love me, promise you will never come here again. There was a flash of pain in Thistleclaw's eyes, and Spotted Paw felt her heart leap with hope. Then he lifted his head. This is my destiny, Spotted Paw. I am going to be the greatest warrior Thunderclan has ever known. I will be the next deputy and the next leader of our clan. Every cat in the forest will fear us. There will be no battle. We cannot win. How could I possibly give that up? Spotted Paw felt a crack open up in her heart. Being a warrior is not about destroying our rivals, she whispered. 
It is about making our clan strong and safe alongside the other cats in the forest. Please, Thistleclaw, I will give you everything. Thistleclaw turned away from her so she couldn't see his face. You don't get it, Spotted Paw, he meowed. I can't turn away from my destiny. Nothing is more important than this. The rip of flesh beneath my claws, the taste of blood, the scent of my enemy's fear. I'm hungry for all of it, and I will keep fighting until Thunderclan rules the entire forest. Then you have made your choice, Spotted Pot told him, feeling as if she were falling into a deep, deep hole. There is no choice to make, Thistleclaw growled. I have dedicated my whole life to becoming the greatest warrior Thunderclad has ever known, and if you won't help me, there is no place for you in my life. But what about the things you said to me before? What about love? Love doesn't win any battles, Thistleclaw spat. You're wrong, Spotted Pie mewed quietly. Love is stronger than everything. She turned and looked back over her shoulder. Goodbye, Thistleclaw. May Starcon light your path always, wherever your path leads, she added silently. As she padded out of the hollow, the forest faded around her, and she was lying in her own nest, her fur smelling of the old she-cat's blood. There was a pain in her heart, sharper than the bite of fox teeth. I have loved you foolishly, and my heart has been blind. She pictured going to Sunstar and Tawny Spots and telling them about Thistleclaw's visits to the dark forest. Would they even believe her? And what could they do? No cat could guard another in his sleep. There is no way to stop Thistleclaw from pursuing his murderous path, but there was something Spotted Paw could do to help her clanmates. The other nests in the den were empty, and Spotted Paw guessed her denmates were on the dawn patrol. She pushed her way out through the brambles and almost collided with Stormtail, who was being propped up by Blue Fur. I'm taking him to the dirt place, Blue Fur explained. Stormtail focused its gaze on Spotted Paw. Thank you, he rasped. Feather Whisker says, I would have died if you hadn't found me. Spotted Paw dipped her head. Stormtail shifted his weight from Blue Fur's shoulder. I'm not so feeble that my own daughter has to watch me make dirt, he grunted. He limped away. Blue Fur looked at Spotted Paw. I am sorry for what I said yesterday, she meowed. I would have seen that Stormtail was sick. Spotted Paw twitched her ears. I made a lucky guess, she mewed with a shrug. No, you didn't. You're very smart, Spotted Paw. You always see so much. Too much, thought Spotted Paw, picturing the old cat fading away in the dark forest. Blue first stared at the bushes that shield the dirt place. The leaves were still trembling from where Stormtail pushed through. I've lost my mother and my sister, she whispered. I couldn't bear to lose my father as well. There was so much sadness in her voice that Spotted Paw wanted to press her cheek against Blue Fur's muzzle and promised she would never leave her. And said she meowed, You are a ThunderClan warrior. You will never be alone. Blue Fur nodded. You're right. Thank you, Spotted Paw. Take care of yourself. There are difficult times ahead for us. I can feel it. Spotted Paw opened her mouth to ask what Blue Fur meant. But Stormtail was emerging from the bushes and Blue Fur tried to meet him. Her tail kinked high over her back. Spotted Paw watched the gray she-cat, wondering if her dreams were also filled with the sounds of screeching, clawing cats. If this achieved his ambition to become clan leader, so many blood-soaked battles lay ahead. There would be so many injuries, so many lives lost. For what? A moment of victory. Until the next time warrior was pinched against warrior? These were not the kind of battles Spotted Paw had trained to fight. Her destiny lay on a different path. She marched through the ferns to Feather Whisker's den. The medicine cat was at the mouth of the cleft in the rock, laying at some herds to dry in the sun. He pricked his ears when he saw Spotted Paw. Can I help you? He meowed. Yes, she replied. I want to become your apprentice.